Hello, this is Ike from Spot Time London and today we've got a five bedroom flat to see in South West London. Now we're right in between Richmond Park and Putney Heath. So as for nearby transportation, we do have a bus stop about a five minute walk away. And from there we can get to Putney as well as Putney Bridge Station in about 20 minutes. So with those stations, we're gonna have railways at Putney and then at Putney Bridge, we've got the district line there. So as for the nearby area, right in this vicinity, we're going to see that it's a very residential area with lots of flats. However, right around the corner, about a one minute walk away, we've got an off license and a few other shops for any convenient shopping that needs to be done. So with that said, let's go ahead and see all five rooms in this five bedroom flat. So starting outside of the front door, we'll notice that we are on the balcony. So we've got Downstairs we can see we've got the cars down there and then across we've got plenty of other buildings. So now to go downstairs we've got the stairs to the right there. And then as we enter the front door, we notice we've got the hardwood floor here in the front corridor. Stairs are going to be here to the right. We've also got a place to hang any coats and jackets. And then the first thing to the left will be the kitchen. So here in the kitchen, we can see we've got a lot of countertop space starting here on the left wall, wrapping all the way around in front. And then here to the right, we'll have the dining table. So now as for the appliances in the kitchen, down below we can see we've got the fridge and freezer. Up on the countertop, we've got the sink. Here we've got the window that overlooks the balcony we've just come from. Down below in this corner we've got the washing machine, you can also dry as we can see the options there. Moving along we've got the stove and oven along with plenty of space up above with the cupboards for any kitchenware and all cutlery. So we've got some drawers down below as well. So that's the kitchen. Moving on to the first bedroom, this bedroom will be labeled bedroom number one. The room is going to be carpeted and we'll have the bed in the center of the room as we enter. We can see on both sides we also do have nightstands. Radiator is going to be here in this corner and the large window is over here which allows for a lot of natural sunlight to enter the room. Here's the room, you can see we've got shelving and cupboards along this wall. So again, great for any storage. And up here we can see we've got space to hang clothes with the rail. So next, we've got the second bedroom, bedroom number two. That's going to be here, we've got the single bed in here, along the wall in front. Again, we've got a window that has the very similar view we just saw from the previous bedroom. And to the right, we'll have a desk, a chair, and you can see the closet there around the corner, which also features a chest of drawers inside. So space up top to hang clothes as well. So that will be that bedroom. So now heading upstairs, we'll see the remaining three bedrooms as well as the bathroom and toilet. So the stairway is carpeted upstairs. We've got the hardwood floor we saw in the corridor downstairs. Toilet and bathroom to the left. First two rooms upstairs are going to be here to the right. So this first room, we're going to have this labeled as bedroom number three. First thing, we've got the standard own wardrobe, a few drawers underneath, as well as a desk in front to the left. On the right, of course, we've got the bed there, that's a single bed. So that's this room. Behind the door, we also do have a mirror, as well as a rack in case you wish to dry clothes that way. 
So now here's the fourth bedroom, slightly larger. You can see that as we do have a double bed in this room here to the right. Closet space is all along the front wall. And then we can see we've got one glass mirror there in the center. So there we've got the desk opposite the bed. The radiator is going to be here underneath the window. That's bedroom four. Before bedroom five, we'll explore and see the toilet and bathroom. And here in the corridor, we can see we've got some shelving there inside of the closet. So that's for the bathroom. The bathtub is here to the left. Sink in front with the radiator here to the right behind the door. And of course, we've got the window there and the windowsill for any products if necessary. So here we do have a few hooks for any towels as well. As for the toilet, we've got the toilet. Again, window and windowsill. And then we've got some cabinet space in here. So finally, here we've got the fifth room. And right away we can see we've got storage in front, desk to the left. And then in front we've got the double bed there along the wall. So the room also features a chest of drawers. And then we can see we've got the shelving above the bed there as well. So again, this is the view from outside of the front of the building. And that will in fact conclude it for this tour. So I hope you've enjoyed all of the rooms we've seen today as well as the rest of the flat. And if you have any more questions or would like to know any more information about the flat, make sure to check out spelltime.com. Bye-bye.